is probably happy about his new glasses. <sighs> the clickbait is real. It's just too much. Like, y'all are so freaking stressful. Like, we slick our edges down. You got a problem with it. We leave our edges be and let them flat out over the place. You got a problem with it. We put a little puff on the top of our head. You got a problem with it. We put it in a bun. You got a problem with it. We do locks. You got a problem. We do braids. You got a problem. We wear wigs. You got a problem. We, 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 we wear an afro. You got a problem. We, we cut it off. You got a problem. Like, why? We wear a weave, you have a problem. We wear it natural, you have a problem. We relax it, you have a problem. We texturize it, you got a problem. We braid it, you got a problem. Like, what do you want us... Oh, that feels so good. What do you want us to do? Okay, so I just took my hair out of braids and... This is the product buildup, pretty much. I don't know what the hell you would call it, but um... So, I'm gonna put my hair in two, and I'm gonna wash my hair that way. Actually, I'm gonna put my hair... Well, yeah. I'm gonna... Okay. I'm gonna put my hair in two, and then I'm gonna work on one side first. So, I'm gonna take one side down, and I'm gonna section it in two, so it's gonna end up being in fours. And I'm going to wash, like, I'm going to comb through the back first and then work on the front because, I don't know, that's just the best way how I can wash my hair. Alright, so right now, I'm going to put my hair in half. Like, I just want to make sure that it's in a perfect half. Well, it's not going to be perfect, perfect, but you know what I mean. Because this is, like my original hairstyle i like to do my hair in the two puffs hence my name mini i like i don't know i just i just like mini mouse the reason why i have the nickname mini is because of my height in jamaica i'm considered as short but here i'm like average length and not length average height so for everyone who has always been curious as to what I use for shampoo and conditioner, um, I use the brand um, Lux. I am using this one right now. It's called Ichi Ichikami. I don't know. I've never I've never used this brand before. But um, I mean, if a lot of Japanese people recommend it, then I'll use it. Like I'm not gonna like stress about what shampoo and conditioner I use in my hair like I'm really not <laughs> so basically what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna add shampoo to this part and wash it and comb it out put it in a braid put some shampoo in this section comb it out braid it and then move on to the next side Okay, so I just put this hair up and I'm actually going to rinse it out like this. I'm going to do the next side the same way. And a lot of people are still asking me like, how long did I leave the escrow in my hair for? Um, for example, if the bottle says to leave it on your hair for about 10 minutes, I left it on my hair for about 5 minutes. So, it, it basically looks the same but it's just so much easier to comb through. So I'm going to put my hair up like this one. I'm going to shower and rinse my hair out. Oh, and if you forgot, this side is the more damaged side and this side is... I don't know. I bleached this side of my hair so that's why this side is more straight and this side is still looking a little more kinky but they're still both very thin. So yeah, for the people who are like trying to attack me talking about 
just say you like straight hair or just say you like looser texture hair i do like looser texture hair i think it's pretty i like 4c hair i think it's pretty but guess what my hair it was just too much to handle with my tender headedness like you don't know what i gotta go through on a regular i just find it really annoying you don't know how many products i've been through just for this head of hair it's too much it's too expensive all i wanted was a more manageable hair I love curls, which is why I decided to do an S-curl texturizer. If I wanted straight hair, I would have gotten a relaxer. Yeah. I mean, if my hair does eventually fall off, I mean, am I gonna, am I gonna die? die? I am... I'm just really over the natural hair community like there's just too much negativity like y'all remind me of the beauty community like it's called the beauty community but it's just so fucking ugly like I just I just don't get it I'm over y'all it's just too much like y'all are so freaking stressful like we slick our edges down you got a problem with it we leave our edges be and let them flat all over the place you got a problem with it we put a little puff on the top of our head you got a problem with it we put it in a bun you got a problem with it we do locks you got a problem we do braids you got a problem we wear wigs you got a problem we we we, we wear an afro you got a problem we we cut it off you got a problem like why i'm gonna apply some mousse to my hair just to keep it flat i don't want to use any gel because i don't know gel just makes my hair look nasty gel mm -mm. I'm, I'm i'm just really freaking tired of the whole gel thing like damn y'all are negative about like oh my gosh the natural hair community is so freaking problematic like leave me alone bruh y'all got a problem with everything everything a black woman do. like you you want to be about oh black woman empowerment melanin and 4c hair and um but when we do natural shit we're still being clocked for it everything we do our own people attack us like i mean it's already bad enough that we gotta deal with racism and our skin tone and shit like that but like come on our hair too like the fuck else I want it to be a little more high, but I'm just gonna leave it like this, I guess. This is huge. So I'm back, and as you can see, I blow dried the left side of my hair. I'm hella close, aren't I? So yeah, I blow dried the left side of my hair, and this is the damaged side of my hair this is the side that i bleach i keep repeating that because people never hear what i'm saying like yeah this is the bleached side this is what it looks like from the back so as for the blow dryer that i use this it's it got a lot of hair in it don't pay that no mind but this is from panasonic okay so not to sound miserable or anything but i swear to god if i hear anybody else in the comments asking me oh my god where did you get that blow dryer from i'm gonna lose my mind i made a video like this before and i've i've said that i bought it here in japan i just walked into a store and buy it i did not buy this online so the name of this is the panasonic genuine airbrush ehka31 um hair dryer um, I don't know what website this is, but it says probably $50 here. I mean, it's a good blow dryer. I, I It's just what it is. This is what I use. This um, thing here is what you, you use to blow dry your hair. This, you can get a nice blowout with this. It's like the curl, the curly. You know what I'm trying to say. You can get a blowout with this. I I don't know what the hell this is. I only got these two. Mine didn't come with the blue, so I guess it's... I guess it's kind of different but hey there it is please do not ask me again i'm gonna lose my mind i love this blow dryer it's very easy to use it's very lightweight you know i can just and the settings on here is cold set and dry if you can see that properly so what you're gonna do first is get a small amount of hair I like to work in small amounts because it's a lot easier it's less painful you just turn that on and 
she's blow dried. She Gucci now. Is that easy? Okay, so before I forget, I just want to share how I got my hair to look like this. So I did these bantu knots, aka Chinese bump, and I slept in it overnight. I know it's hard to sleep in, but the next day I took the bantu knots out, and because you know my hair is chemically processed, it's a little harder to dry meaning it takes a little longer to dry so I took my hair out and I just let the twist hang a little in the sun <laughs> and these are the end results <laughs> 